Hello everybody, it's your boy, it smells like on here. Welcome back to yet another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's Gary's Mod. And today I have a brand new spotlight for you guys. If you guys seen it in the title, the thumbnail, let's go ahead and smash like and see if we can get 300 likes. How about 333 likes? And if you guys are new, be sure to put hashtag new in the comments below. Subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Let's get this started. So my boy Tara has given me early access to uh, one of his ragdolls that he ported over. This is... The Fred Trap version 5 ragdoll. So I've never even seen anything like this. I mean, I didn't even know there was a version 1, 2, 3, or 4. But this guy looks absolutely crazy. And I was thinking, like, maybe this guy might crash my game because of how detailed he looks. So I'm going to go ahead and shut off my flashlight. Look at that. Just look at the details. Look at, like, the textures. Uh, I think most of it is, I think it's called the bump map texture. And it, it just looks so detailed. I, I love it. Like, even the teeth have, like, those vascularity. I mean, I didn't even know teeth could have uh, vein imprints or something like that. It's pretty it's pretty nice, and his eyeballs are pretty creepy. So it seems like it's a fusion of, like, uh, Fredbear and Springtrap, thus the name. Um, dang, this is, this is pretty awesome. I kind of wanted to see a fusion in of itself, but I do want to test out the compatibility upon having it, like, as a chasing NPC. And do some funny stuff there. Um, I kind of want to see also with a, a regular NPC if he can become something without crashing my game. So, let's go ahead and see what we could do right here. Let's have Five Nights at Freddy's 4. We're going to do what we do in these spotlights, which is pretty exciting. And um, I'm pretty excited for some more ports. I mean, if, if, if there's something like this that exists, imagine the other stuff, you know? I'm not really too familiar on... Um, oh, gosh, that is, that is creepy. <laughs> I'm not too familiar on... All the other stuff that's on the uh, SFM workshop because I don't really I don't really animate and if I did it'd probably be garbage all right so let's go into advanced bone tool I mean if I tried I'd, I'd probably like stop doing YouTube because I spent all my time doing that oh my god he looks like a blob because his arms are so thick oh my goodness dude he actually looks really creepy though and imagine this chasing you in the middle of the night here we go duplicator bam He's rolling around at the speed of sound. I think he is. He's he's going on his own groove. Let's see if he chases us. Come here. Come here. I want you good I want you to give me a hug. I don't know why, but this is okay, he's following me now. That is terrifying. Alright, I wonder what a fusion of uh him and here I kinda wanna see. I don't know why I deleted him. I'm creating errors somehow. Let's go ahead and make him T pose. Looking good, my dude. Looking good. Oh, gosh. <laughs> when you turn the flashlight on him, he just becomes infinitely scarier. Like, look at that. It's like a scary story time. I ain't feeling it. All right, let's go ahead and see if we have... Do I have a Springtrap ragdoll? I think I might. Oh, wait, dude. I, f I totally forgot about this. Yo, okay. Uh, I kind of want to spotlight that and another one. I totally forgot about this. I said that last time and I I actually forgot about it. All right, let's go in FNAF 3 Spring Trap. All right, oof. Let's go ahead and make this guy T-pose. And I think these guys might be able to fuse together, although it might be a little derpy. So what if we dupe dupe, like double dupes, right? And then have the dupes fuse. You think that might work? It's either going to work or it's going to crash my game, unfortunately. All right, let's see here. Bone merge. I want... I probably want him to fuse into him. What name would that be? Oh, I think it might have worked. Maybe maybe not. I don't think it works this way. I, yeah. I don't know about this, Chief. No, I know what we need to do. We need to dupe this. All right. And then get the NPCs right here. I think we have them shut off. Oh, no. They're on 2020 mode. Okay. Let's go uh, inactive. And then we'll spawn in, I think one should be fine. One of each, yeah. Should be fine. All right, let's go into ba da ba ba da bone merge. There we go. Get you in there. Oh, what the heck? Dude, this is going to look so funky. All right, and then you to you. And then now, oh, dude, that looks so cool. He's like right in his mouth. <laughs> He's all peep peeping out. All right, let's go ahead and make the materials like that. Oh, my God. It, is his body back? His body is backwards. What? Can I change that, please? That's a little disturbing. All right, let's go into... I think it has to be like spine or something like that. Spine zero. Oh, 
ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. It looks like he's like scratching his butt almost. All right, let's let's flip this. Nope, not that way, sir. Wait, if I do, his whole body turns. All right, we're gonna have to change his head then. Uh, bip head. Nope, not that way. Just a little bit of that way. Oh gosh, that's terrifying. And then move this up a little bit, dude. That looks incredibly scary. I kind of want that for the thumbnail action. Oh my goodness, that looks pretty awesome, actually. And then uh, the spring bonnie looks pretty. <laughs> he looks buff with his arms being like that, dude. That's that's amazing. Look at that. Just to have them as like the the Five Nights at Freddy's four chasing NPCs is pretty awesome. I like that a lot. All right, dude. This model's crazy. I love it. All right, let's turn this off, and then now I want to fuse them together and see what they look like, because this is going to be pretty interesting. Oh, wait, they're too close to each other. All right, uh, move over there. All right, bam. Okay, so it's kind of... <laughs> Dude, they actually look even crazier. For some reason, the flashlight doesn't shine on their face. Oh, dude, that looks crazy. I see I'm looking at nightmare teeth right now. Look at that. He kind of looks like a Halloween animatronic. And I think it's because it's Nightmare Chica that's doing that. The shadows of it. That's what we're looking at. I don't know how to disable it, but it looks cool. It looks like they have like uh, multiple forms of teeth. Now, what happens if I do this? No, not animation. Oh, what did I just do? I didn't mean to do that. Advanced bone tool. I want to see what happens if I change their head size. Um. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Oh, dude, it looks so weird. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to make this as equal as possible. All right. Dude, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how this looks when they chase me. Okay, so now they won't chase me, unfortunately. Although, I'm going to try... What the heck? Did they run so funny? Why, do their, why does the arm moves like that? <laughs> it, look, it looks like he's doing like the anime run. Hold on. I think... I think I could even make that more of an anime run than ever. All right, what I need to do is have... Ah! Time stop. There we go. So he's almost doing it. His hands are a little up, and it's a little bent more. So what we'll have to do here is go into uh, advanced bone tool and then change the right upper arm. Whoa, what the heck? The menu broke. There we go. Right upper arm. Uh, I think it's down here. Right upper arm, right upper arm, right upper arm. It's so hard to see like all the body groups right here. There's so many. I can't find it. Oh gosh, he's already moving. All right, I'm gonna have to slow down time. Uh, I I I, pr I wish I could do the Star Platinum's a world, but um, dude, did I actually lose the upper arm? Oh, it's down here. Okay, so there's the left upper arm. How do we make it more? Oh, I know it's perfectly fine like that. I want it to be. There we go. I think I do need to change the lower arm as well. So we need that bent up higher. And then I think that was his right upper arm, right? I think. Oh, wait, no, wait. Wait, what? Oh, it's because we flipped his body upside down. All right. So where is the left? To the left, to the left. Not that way. I need to straighten it out. Oh, dude, this is so weird. That, that's pretty close. Now, where is the other upper arm? I don't know if I can find it. It looks like it's down here somewhere, but it doesn't really exist. I think. I I don't I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. I'm going to go ahead and undo the my technical time stop. And now we can see him do the Naruto anime run. Can he, can he get out of here? Oh, I, I helped him, but he's stuck. Why are... Why you get okay now he's running. Oh, oh, please don't kill me. It was just a joke. It's the only game. Why you have to be mad? Oh gosh, dude, this guy's incredible. <laughs> dude, it looks so oh, it's like creepy but goofy at the same time. I don't know what to think of this. Alright, let's see. He even has like the teeth shadows too. It's even I don't know why. He kind of reminds me of like Bread Bear and uh, I think this is another animatronic from a fan-made game. I don't know which one it is. I totally forgot. His eyes are really creepy. I don't like it. Let's see what happens if I make him go into... Oh, we're on the 2020 mode. Let's see what happens if we dupe this. What if... Can I dupe it with the... Oh, I can. EGS. Oh! 
That was scary. Okay, I thought my game was gonna crash. I think I need to dupe it like this. Check it out. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. I don't know why the duplicator works fine, but the uh the other one doesn't work at all, really. Oh gosh, it's so laggy. Too many fusions. I'm gonna see if I can uh if I can go star platinum on them. Oh, I just realized I got a mod for spe uh, specifically for JoJo's Bizarre Adventure stuff, and it's been causing Omega lag. But it's pretty good for playing Mystery Demonetized. All right, let's go ahead and... What up? And my game crashed immediately. Nice, dude. Nice. That was very awesome. I, I, I wasn't really expecting that. Actually, I was. Lately, my games have been crashing more than ever. All right, let's go ahead and jump back in and see what else we can do right here. Holy guacamole. I feel like my Gary's mod did not like that crash at all whatsoever. I'm getting some prop hunt taunt pack loader errors. I don't know why. Holy moly. That was probably like one of my worst crashes I've experienced. Jeez. I wonder if it's going to happen again. L let's see what happens here. I also want to see him fuse with his own other Fredbear iterations to make him the ultimate Fredbear. So we'll have Fred trap. And these Fred Bears fuse together. Oh! All right. Holy guacamole. I thought this was going to lag. Uh, really, really bad. All right. Another thing I'm going to do, too, is have them fuse into the other Fred Bears. Oh, wait. Is that... That is a Fred Bear pack, but this just looks like golden. Wait. What the heck? Why are they going invisible? That's a first. He doesn't go invisible. Only they do. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right. They... They really don't have the same structure, but <laughs> we'll see how this turns out. Huh. I kind of want to see this, though. I'm going to try two, two different ways of having them fuse, so uh, let's get a dupe for each again. I think this is what I wanted to do last time. Hello? Okay, that's weird. Are they technically effects? No, they would have a circle on the bottom. I don't know why I had to select them by the feet. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let's get the bone merger up in here. Boom. All right, this is this is already being really wonky. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do here, because each form is really different. Yo, he actually looks really cool. It looks like he is he he's got like a uh, animatronic monocle, and then like the um, to me those those wires look like whiskers coming out of his belly, and then of course he has like the ugly Five Nights at Freddy's three rotten uh, I guess paint job textures whatever. All right, so let's get him into a FNAF 4 chasing NPC uh, form, I guess bone structure. So make them inactive. We'll have two Fred Bears right here. Oh gosh, that's terrifying. Actually, we're going to have uh, two more because we're fusing all the three together. So this is this is Fred Bears episode, dude. Here we go. Bone merge. Bada boom. We'll see how that turns out to be. This might be really wonky or just right. And I'll try to make them as normal as possible. We'll see if they turn out to be the same. They might be really different. So there's a three that has been put into one. Of course, we have the issues with that. I don't know. It's like a backwards belly back. <laughs> That's what I'm calling it. Um, now, look, we're going to try doing this separate. So, one, oh, actually, we need one more. Okay. There's that. So there's you. Stop your laughing. You sound very creepy. I ain't feeling it, chief. This ain't it. All right, let's get you to you and you to you, big boy. All right, and we're gonna change the materials to absolute zero. Well, almost. So these guys look pretty funky as is. I probably could alter their heads. I do want to alter this guy's body because it's absolutely busted. So let me, I, I really wish you could copy pasta properties that you've altered on bone structures. It would make everything so much more simpler and funnier on other creations. So let's go to spine zero. Flip this boy. Oh, that's what made his, okay. <laughs> that's what made his, his arms backwards. Okay. Change his head. Give it a little bit of a lift. I feel like everyone else needs like a head lift on uh, that part as well. So eh. I'm not too lazy. Let's get it. Let's get it. All right. Why? There you go. It looks really creepy though. Their body reminds me of like, I don't know, almost like a hunchback of Notre Dame feeling. It's really creepy. All right, and now... I don't even know what their name would be, like Fredbear Squared? 
It'd be like Goku Black Fusion with himself, except not. I, I don't know what it would be. It just It's just really confusing. All right. Um, right. I'm going to make this guy the homeboy. I do want to flip his arms, but eh, screw it. I'm too lazy now. All right, let's go. Bone merge. Boom. Oh, gosh, this is weird. This is really weird. Oh! All right, I, I am expecting a crash right now. Holy moly! Okay, so their arms flipped backwards as well. Uh, a lot of their bodies flipped, so it doesn't seem to be compatible. It doesn't even matter at this point. All right, who is the winner? This is like, oh, who would win? Obama or, or, or Yobaba? Something like that. I don't know. All right, let's see if my game crashes this time around. Here we go. Release the poopoos. Oh, wait, here we go. 2020 mode. Oh, dude! I actually, I'm gonna go with that one. It actually looks a lot better with him doing the anime run. In fact, it looks it looks really good. It looks like he's doing a, a legit anime run. <laughs> All right, let's make my game crash. All right, here we go. Cue the Jotaro Kujo music. Here we go. Oh! Yo, that was actually, uh, that was super clean. Time to take you out. Bam! And... I have stopped the lag. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to go ahead and do it for this ragdoll spotlight. If you guys did enjoy it, uh, this is early access, so there's not going to be a link until given so by Terra himself. Um, be sure to smash like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. But till then, and always, have a great time, okay? Bye-bye.